Hi guys, welcome back to Face Over Matter. It's your girl Jay here, and in today's video, I am bringing you realness over here. I curled her, isn't she cute? Isn't she so cute? I did, um, my last video was actually a review on this wig of, of just me like putting it on. Maybe I should have recorded me curling it, but I used, um, I just used a little curling wand. It's actually still hot, so let me be careful. It's by Remington. I've had this for years and I never really used it, so it honestly looks brand new, but this is what it looks like. So take any curling wand. This is like the barrel size or whatever. It's kind of skinny, but this is, this happened. And also this happened. You can't see it, but I burnt my finger terribly so there's that um but today i have an exciting video for you guys today we are going to be testing out a new eyeshadow palette that is new on the market you guys might not know about it yet but since today is the launch day without any further ado the palette that i'm going to be showing you guys today is by minted cosmetics minted cosmetics is like a lipstick and lip gloss line they do um like different types of like nudes um, I know some of their, like, a lot of their glosses, like, focus around, like, dark colors, nude colors. Um, they have tons of lipsticks. One of my favorite lipstick is um, the Pretty in Pink by Minted Cosmetics. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere up here. But they sent me, like, a packaging of, like, a bunch of lipsticks and stuff a little while ago. But today, they have come back with something new and something that they have not, um, yet done so it was super exciting that they wanted me to be a part of the launch um I'm, i am a little bit late i am a little bit late i was suffering from a really bad sickness the past week so i was not able to film anything um but hopefully it's not too late but here we go um the launch is march 2nd so you will be able to get your hands on it march 2nd and i will leave the price down here below i'm not sure i haven't actually looked it up yet of how much it actually is but i will leave it down below so you guys will know but this is it this is it now i have to be honest guys i did film a video last night using this palette and i forgot that i wasn't able to like post up the footage until the launch date so I have messed with the shadows if they look like they've been messed with, but it's okay. Honesty is key, right? Honesty is key. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out the packaging. Um, so all of the um, colors here on the back, it also comes with a little sheet that has the same exact thing on it with the names. But this is the palette, guys. One thing I can say I love already about the palette is the texture of the, the front of this. It's like really soft and velvety feeling. I don't even know if it's velvety, but it's like really soft. I don't know, it's like a, a dope feel to it. And then you open it up, you have this gigantic mirror, which is, like I always say, is always an A1. Um, it's an A plus if they have a mirror. Look at my light. If they have a mirror in it, I think that is such a good deal, especially if you are a traveler and you just want like a go-to palette and you really like this palette, you could just literally have this palette. It's got some dope colors in here and stuff. And you got your mirror, so you don't have to carry around a bunch of stuff. But um, from what I remember, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. They're like seven. There's like seven matte shades and then like two really nice foil shades here on the side. Um, I can already tell you this right here is my favorite. This one is called, this one's called First Date and it's actually really, really beautiful. Let me go ahead and swatch it. I swatched it, like I said, I had already previously filmed, but this shadow is gorgeous. Like, it's just matte, look at that, it's like mad buttery, picks up lighting very well. It's just, it's just really beautiful. It's even more beautiful in person. I would even love it for like a highlight. Matter of fact, where's my highlighter brush? All right, I'm gonna just take a little bit of it because it is, it does pick up a lot of product. That was just like with one dip and that's like a lot of product. <laughs> so let's go in with like a little bit of a highlight, like a golden highlight. Look at that, look at my cheek. Oh my God, it's stunning, I love it. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. You guys know I'm a gold person, so this was just like off the jump. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna zoom you guys up just a little bit um, cause I really don't feel like changing my lens. <laughs> so I'm just gonna zoom you guys up a little bit and, um, and we're gonna get into the shadow. All right, so just a little bit so you guys can actually see me good. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna go into is this one. And this one is actually called uh, Tandemonium. 
This one's called Tandemonium, and this one is actually a matte shade, and I'm using a Bedellium Tools 776 brush. I love this brush. This is one of my go-to eye brushes. And I'm just going to start by placing this lightly into the crease. Really nice, really, really nice. They blend nicely, it's buildable. It's really nice and buttery. That just gave me like a really nice transition. Not doing too much, not overdoing my eye look whatsoever. It's just giving me a really nice base to start with. And of course, this would be good for any skin tone, any type of skin tone we're working with. Okay, so now that we have the crease done, I'm gonna actually go in with this middle shade. This one is called Upside Brown. And this is like a cool tone brown. It's more, comparing it to the other one here at the bottom, I think this one's a little bit more warm. It's picking up definitely more warm. So I'm gonna actually use the same brush and I'm gonna place that on the outer corner. And you guys are really gonna start to see how pigmented these joints are. People got competition, I'm telling you. This is a dope palette, this is really nice. This is really nice. But like I said, the launch is March 2nd. So, and I feel like this is a great starter palette. This is just a great starter palette. You could use this for like any type of, any type of event. You got your options of just going straight matte or if you wanna go, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna go a little shimmer, you can. Like the shadow is not moving, which is so good. Cause I know sometimes when you add powdered like shadows, they tend to move when you start adding layers. And you know me, I stick with my neutrals, so this is like the perfect palette for me, if especially whenever I start traveling, this is something that would definitely be with me. Cause I just feel like I can get like all my looks. And for this being that first palette, I think it's good. I'm pretty sure they'll come up with more colors and stuff, you know, once they get the hang of everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this um, BH Cosmetics brush, number six, and I'm gonna take that first shadow that we used up top, and I'm just going to run this underneath my eye. All right, so for my first look, I wanna keep it really nice and daytime. Very simple, very nice and pretty, very fresh. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I could go really glam during the day and that's just how I operate. But if that's what you wanna do, do your thing, ma. Like, that's fine. I just wanna go like a little bit, like just a little bit light. Oh! Of course that would happen to me. Of course it would, huh? Okay, so I'm actually gonna take the first date shade that I was talking about up here, this beautiful golden shade. Actually, canceled. I'm gonna actually take this, it's called beige. It's like like bay, like you call somebody bay. It's like bay dash GE, so beige. I'm gonna take that, and this one's almost like a matte shade. And I'm gonna place that on my lid area. Ooh, okay, that's actually pretty pigmented. I didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented. Yo, these shadows are super pigmented, wow, okay. Like I said, we're gonna keep this look very like daytime and fresh. Okay, so while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my inner corner. I'm gonna take that other gold shade, the first date, and pop that into my inner corner. Look at that, and that's with no moisture. No moisture. I'm gonna add a little spray to it just to see the comparison, just to see how much more intense it'll be. I'm pretty sure I'm about to look crazy now, but let's do it. Oh, wow. Do you see the difference, like how intense that is? Wow, that's stunning. So now I'm going to take this eye pencil. This is from um, Wet n Wild. This is just like a little eye pencil. I really don't wanna add white to my eyes right now, so I'm just gonna stick with this one. And I'm gonna just run that in my waterline. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. Like I said, I'm keeping this daytime, so I'm not trying to go full glam with, you know, thick liner and all that stuff. Like That's how I messed myself up last night. I was getting a little too confident with liner and messed up my eyes, and I was so upset. I'm adding my um, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara. This is my favorite mascara right now. Boom. I am, though, gonna add a little bit of this dark brown shade back from the palette. Take this little angled brush, and I'm gonna take this dark brown at the bottom called Brown Out. And you guys know I like to add it like really close to my lash line. This is just another trick to help me open up my eyes. All right, and then I, I think I am gonna add a little mascara to the bottom just to complete them. Okay, all right, so now for lips. Um, I'm gonna take this lip pencil from NYX called Nutmeg. And since we're keeping it daytime, I don't wanna do too much with my lips, so what I'm gonna do is actually add, this is the Minted Cosmetics lipstick I was talking about. This is called Pretty in Pink. This is one of my go-to lipsticks. So I'm gonna add that on top. 
It's like a nice nudie pink. Like it's just really pretty. And then to top it off, I love a good gloss. So I'm gonna take my NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Praline. And this is my daytime look. It's nice and fresh, nice and simple, a little. Honey, I was cutting this wig earlier and I literally got hair like all over me. It's like ridiculous. Trying to style my hair a little bit. I don't wanna mess up my little curls with so much, but I love a good like poof in the front. So this is my daytime look. I think it's super pretty, super fresh. How you doing? All right, so for a quick switch up, let's go and like see if we can create like a darker, like a nighttime look with this without switching up too much. So I already know that I'm gonna change my lip color, so we're gonna go ahead and change that. Focus more on like the darker colors. So I'm gonna actually reach into this purple color right here called Queen Sugar. Now this money right here is like mad dark, watch this. Like this joint is super, super dark. Like it doesn't take much for this to like get dark and get somewhere and get crazy if you're not careful type of deal. But I'm not like a real big purple, like a, a purple eyeshadow person, but I do like this one. I think it's nice. That's why I'm grateful for like these, these sponsorships and stuff, like when people send me stuff, I'm so grateful. But also it does help me like dig into stuff that I'm not usually used to digging into. Cause y'all know me, I'm neutral. Browns, browns and gold and a glossy nude lip. Like that's literally all I go to. All right, and now I'm gonna take that dark purple color and I'm gonna run that underneath the eye here. All right, and now I'm gonna take the other foiled shadow. This one is called Second Date. Mm. Second date, and I'm gonna apply this with my finger because this one's really nice and pigmented too. I'm gonna like just mash it in there. I love this color. It's like a, it's like a brownish coppery like color. Yo, Minty Cosmetics, y'all did it. Like this is nice. I have nothing bad to say. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Let me go go ahead back and line my lips because I'm still gonna use the same lip liner. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to my lashes. I'm just gonna use these simple drugstore lashes. These are the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. So we're just gonna keep it in the minted family. So I'm just gonna actually use this minted um, cosmetic lipstick called Foxy Brown. I'll come alive in the nighttime. Oh, I love this. All right, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara to the lashes just to complete the look. The first one go in the daytime, no lashes, keep it simple. Second time, go a little bit of a darker lip color, add a little bit of liner. And I love how it just complements my hair. I love this blonde hair on me. And I'm so glad you guys like it. I've been looking at the comments while I was on bed rest. I was literally looking at the comments and you guys were just giving me so much positive feedback about this wig. I gotta tell you guys, I was really insecure about it. I really was, I really, really was. But I'm glad you guys like it because I've actually fell in love with it. So thanks so much. Y'all just made me feel so much better. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Minted Cosmetics, for um, sending me your palette. Again, this is going to be launching on March the 2nd, so make sure you get your hands on it. This palette's gorgeous. I love it. This is like a traveling go-to beginner-friendly palette. I pray that they do come out with more because I think their formula the formula is really nice. The shadows blend it very well. The golden shade in my inner corner is what's like the, the, the showstopper for me. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have all the details down below of how to order yours. So like I always say, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, God willing, I will definitely see you all. How I get to the end and mess that up? And of course, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Bye.